This is a gain compression curve of a device. There are actually two traces overlaid in perfect agreement. The two traces are the measured data of a device and the simulated results of a model of that device in PathWave system. So this is now a very good model for modeling any arbitrary AM to AM curve that has noise or ripple, a non-standard roll-off, gain expansion, limiting, any arbitrary curve defined by the points that you supply. And you would do this really to get a good model of any device you were using. And you would start with the data for your device, which might be in the form of an MDIF file from your network analyzer, which you can import like this. That gives you a new data set in your workspace containing the magnitude and phase of your gain versus input power. The power is in 0.2 dB steps, rather small, but there's a reason for this we'll talk about later. When you have this data set, you just need to prepare it with a little bit of MATLAB for use in your model. First, you point to the MDIF data that you just imported. Then you pull out the magnitude and phase, as well as the list of power values. And once you have these three variables, you can use them directly in the model in these three parameters, which are new parameters. AM, AM, P, and power is the list of power values. AM, AM data is the AM data and the PM data here. These three arrays should be the same size. And that's all you have to do in the model. You can then sweep the power and come out with a graph like this. Now, in case you don't have MDIF data from a network analyzer, either in magnitude phase or real imaginary format, both are accepted, you can paste gain and phase data directly onto an equation page. You can do that in either absolute gain or relative or delta gain. Either case, you, you have a variable here which you can put into the model as we just saw. So either one of these formats is accepted. And this was all made possible by the fact that we had, had measured this device from about 30 dB below to a few dB above P1 dB. And we did that with 0.2 dB steps. This resulted in about 150 points. Try to match this. Um, don't go too far above or too far below these values if you want good accuracy. Now we can also apply two tones to the same model. No change is, is, is required in the model. The output spectrum will show as many intermods as you ask for with the max order parameter in the analysis. And in addition, the model will try to extract a value of IP3 for itself from the gain compression curve using a special algorithm that was developed for Keysight network analyzers. This is why it was important to stick to those rules uh, for the number of points and the point spacing and so on. So this value is extracted if it's too far away from the value you expected, if the error is too large, in other words, you can go into the model and override the extraction. Look for AM, AM override odd IPN and set it to on. This will make the IP3 visible and you can enter any value there to use the next time you simulate. So this value is now being used. It overrides the self-extraction from the curve. Finally, this model is so versatile that you can place any number of them anywhere in a chain, anywhere on your path, and it will sense its input power and adjust its gain accordingly. We can go from a very low input value where the gain is high and increase the gain where compression starts to occur 
and we can drive it even harder deep into compression. So you can have perfect confidence that anywhere you place one of these AM to AM models, the model will behave properly according to the, the curve that you supplied. So PathWave system now models full AM to AM and AM to PM in its RF amp model, allowing you to model any arbitrary P out to P in characteristic. For a complete discussion of what you saw in this video, look on Keysight's website for a brand new application note entitled Modeling AM to AM Behavior.